Hi everyone, this is Matthew at Daz Trader. If you have uh, questions on how we set up this layout and how to properly set up your layout and how to uh, link link things up, I always encourage everyone to please uh, watch the uh, the first video that was launched. Uh, it's titled Demo. Um, so let's just get started. Today's video series is going to be about a question that came up in live chat. Someone asked, uh, Matthew, you know, um, I uh, I understand that the hotkeys are you know a lot faster and but just generally for my uh, my own personal um, I I generally don't want to use my keyboard at all how would I go about um, using uh, these uh, NASA Platinum certified tools to incorporate uh, this aspect where someone who doesn't want to ever use um, key his keyboard at all uh, for his orders and just wants to use his mouse how would he go about creating buttons at the bottom and um, inside embedding a script so that way when you click on the button uh, you can have that action appear uh, on the uh, on the montage now there is a video on uh, how to prop how to properly and, and correctly um, uh, create hotkeys and so this video I'm just gonna quickly uh, go into that um, on how to but uh, please as a prerequisite uh, please watch the video on um, the demo and then how to uh, the hotkey videos as well so we have our montage window here some of you may have um, another montage as well uh, just because it's a lot faster to um, go through uh, the symbol just click and then activate your montage and get in I generally just use one montage to be a lot faster so I don't have to manage two things versus one so if I right mouse click um, between the buttons here, same way originally in the demo we walked through how to set up styles, I want to go down here to layout config and then what I want to do is I want to bring over level 1, level 2, trade and then I also want to bring, because the video series is particularly about how to um, create buttons, I want to bring over the hotkey um, and you'll understand a little bit uh, later on why it's called hotkeys because we're the, the buttons will actually have scripts assigned to them and what we're going to do is we're going to go build that hockey um, in the order script wizard tab. I'm going to click build script and then we're going to copy that in here. So we're going to go click click OK. And then it says here right click here to add button. Just right mouse click. Click on add row. This tells me uh, how many buttons do I want to see in that first row here. So let's say I only want to have two. Okay. In the first row I click OK. I see two buttons appear. Let's say the next row I want to add a few other buttons. Let's say I want to um, do one for 100, 200, uh, 300. Instead of using my keyboard, left and right arrows for hotkeys. Some of you may never want to use your um, your your keyboard for your hotkey. So you click on add add row, and let's say we'll put this here um, as four there, or or five, excuse me, and then click OK. And OK, so go ahead and grab my script first. Go to set up hotkeys, and we've done this before. Um, it's that shift one and we, we, we just went on edit item went on order script wizard and we selected these choices here and then we clicked it we clicked build script so because we have this already I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over click commit click OK and then go back here to edit on this button shorten this uh, just say like buy X um, and marketable uh, um, marketable limit with a 10 cent uh, something like that and that'll be your code for knowing what it is click OK and then we're gonna do uh, the same thing on the right hand side we're gonna go to hot set up hotkeys and go here click on edit item what I'm doing is basically I'm just copying the script that we've set up before using the order script wizard so the way we built that we just selected the um, and there's a video on this on how to uh, correctly build hotkeys so and then we click build script so I'm just gonna copy and paste uh, control C on my keyboard here and then click commit click OK and I want to come back here and click on edit item and just paste that in there like so and we're gonna call this cell um, X number of shares it's a marketable limit with a 10 cent uh, uh, you know like that and then click OK okay and then the next one what what I want to do is I want to 
um, these bottom ones, let's say I want to, because these keys right here will pick up X, uh, whatever shares is in here, right? So um, again, this video series is about just using your mouse, not using your keyboard at all. So let's say, for example, I want the first one to be 100, the second one to be 200, third one to be 300, fourth one to be uh, 400, and the fifth one uh, to be 500. So let's do that. And I'm going to get a good sense of, so I'm going to click on add new item here, just so I can get the correct code. And I can just put in here, for example, 100, click build script. OK, so now I know uh, the correct syntax using the build script. So I just copy that control. And then I click, I, I don't want to save this because I, I'm just using this to grab the correct script using the order script wizard. And then I click build script. So once I've copied this, control C, copied it. I'm just going to click cancel here and cancel here again because I'm I don't want to create those hotkeys. I'm and then I want to right mouse click here, go to edit, and then I want to title that. I would just want to title that. Let's say 100 shares. Pretty uh, so that way I understand what I'm what that button's for. 100 shares or whatnot. You could just put 100. Uh, then click OK. You can see it says 100 shares. I want to repeat that again. Rinse and repeat is the name of the game. And I want to put that as 200 shares. Um, and I'm going to just change that one to 200. And like so. And we're just going to rinse and repeat here for the rest of these. Bear with me. Click OK. We've got two more. Okay, last one but not least. Okay, lovely. Click OK. And then I can see I can go ahead and test this. And by the way, since we're making changes on our layout, we change the furniture a little bit. I want to go ahead, let's say I want to go ahead and save this. I go to File, um, Save Desktop. But before I do that, um, I may, I may, I can go in here and I can, for example, click edit on that cell. And because I, I may know just because it's, uh, because I've built, you know, I've, I've built it personally, I may know, I may just want to put click OK and just keep that as um, cell X or something like that. And I'll know that all my um, uh, cell X is marketable limit. You don't have to, but um, you can always change the title later. I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. Go to File, Save, Save Desktop. Go to Click, click yes so that way if I close this out click OK and then I launch um, our, our demo we'll see the buttons and everything the work that we've done there um, already saved so if I click 100 uh, I should be able to see 100 because that's exactly what the script does it just loads 100 so for example because I may hit 200 I may hit 300 400 etc and then once I hit 500 I'll just hit the um, the buy uh, X uh, number of shares which it'll pick up what's in here and it'll be a marketable limit order and uh, right now it's after hours but we do allow on the simulation um, so folks can get some extra practice but just be aware obviously um, you know the market has to be open but because it's a real uh, it's a, a real-time simulation that um, we've allowed a little bit of outside in case somebody wants to practice a little bit more I'm just gonna go ahead and press this here and you can see uh, you know immediately a marketable limit order um, for 500 shares at 170 was filled so uh, this is just something that you could uh, you know play around with do and let's say for example later on um, you wanted to uh, create let's say for example buttons where say for example you wanted to add additional th some of the hotkeys here okay yeah I'm gonna just do one one other hotkey here and just throw it in, throw it in here let's say you bought something right you bought that X uh, number of shares you clicked on 100 shares on your button and you loaded it let's say you wanted to add for example a 10 cents trailing uh, on there after it loads in and let's say this is in a situation where you're already in, an, in a situation where you can sacrifice 10 cents but uh, and it was just running up and you just want to quickly put like let's say a 5 cents trailing so you want to go to add new item and I want to 
I want to get that script um, um, right away. And remember that stops require for the market to be open. <coughs> Excuse me. And go to range. I want to just put in like for example five cents trailing. Five cents trailing. And uh, I don't want to title this or anything. We're just and I I just put that in there just uh, for the sake of um, completion and then I want to put that as POS capital P lowercase s just just old habits so just I know that it's capital P, P lowercase P, OS click build script and I, I just want to copy and paste that script what it does it's a sell uh, trailing stop for ten five cents so after I sent that in I may want to create a hotkey for that click um, click cancel because I don't want to actually create that hockey I want to put that in the um, in the series here and I want to title that sell uh, trailing um, excuse me five cents and then I want to just control C that in there click OK so let's say I have that and let's say the market when the market opens from 930 to 4 you know you locate first you have a position and uh, the moment you click on this it'll trail five cents um, this is the way the uh, the hotkeys are the function with the moment you click on this it'll trail five cents uh, behind the last sale price that it was so then you uh, then you would just select this and uh, it would be sent out again you wanna uh, use this during market hours because the video was taken um, when the markets closed and um, you, you know you can't uh, you can't use it uh, but um, I just wanted to just go through that you could you know get a little bit more creative here and you could add for example you could make this one um, you could make this one a uh, you know a buy uh, buy to cover uh, five cents trailing right and then you would just um, you would just you know put that information here and because I know uh, it's just it's a little bit uh, I've, I've done this before I can go in here and I can you know just read the script as you were as you would you know like a little story uh, everything's pretty much the same. It's still saying it's doing a trailing uh, a trail price at five cents. The position's still POS, but the only thing that's different it's going to be uh, the, it's going to be buy equal cents. So I want to click OK, and you know, lo and behold, there it is. Uh, and then I want to go ahead and always save my work, and and that should do it. Okay, this concludes uh, today's video series on how to create. Uh, custom buttons uh, on your montage. Hopefully this has been of uh, some help to you. Uh, thank you and uh, have a good day.